हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस लर्न द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ अवर लेसन डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड दियर क्लासिफिकेशन इन एनिमल्स ऑल्सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी एनिमल्स हैव डिफरेंट शेप्स एंड साइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द अमीबा डेट कैन नॉट बी सीन विथ अवर आईज अ ह्यूज एलिफेंट द स्मॉल स्नेल the fish that swims in water a kite that flies high in the sky butterflies that flit around flowers a house lizard that crawls on a wall are all animals but each one has different characteristics let us learn the general characteristics of animals Animals have body parts like a head, a neck, a torso, a tail, and limbs for movement. Animals have various organ system which carry on various function inside their body. Hence, in this respect, there is a big diversity in animals also, like plant. let us learn the classification of animals on the basis of cell animals are classified into two classes unicellular multicellular unicellular the animals have only one cell are called unicellular animals for example amoeba paramecium etc multicellular animals multi means many animals having many cells are called multicellular animals for example horse bear tortoise fishes etc classification of animals on the basis of backbone on the basis of backbone animals are classified into two main classes vertebrates invertebrates vertebrates animals having spines or backbones are called vertebrates animals for example snake birds fishes kangaroo human beings etc invertebrates animals not having spines or backbones are called invertebrates for example snail cockroaches earthworms etc we have learned that producing another living things like oneself is called reproduction on the basis of mode of reproduction animals are classified into two classes oviparous animals viviparous animals oviparous animals oviparous animals are animals that lay their eggs and hatches them to born a new young one are called oviparous animals for example a hen lays eggs and hatches them after a few days the young chicks hatch out of the eggs hence ducks all birds fishes are the examples of oviparous animals viviparous animals the animals which give birth to their young one are called viviparous animals for example a cow gives birth to a calf before that the calf grows within the cow's body cow dog cats elephant human beings are the examples of viviparous animals on the basis of habitat animals are 
usually classified into four classes terrestrial animals aquatic animals amphibious animals aerial animals terrestrial animals terrestrial animals are animals that entirely live on land are called terrestrial animals for example cats dogs horses human beings etc aquatic animals animals which live in water are called aquatic animal for example fishes octopus sharks whales etc amphibious animals animals which live in both places in land also in water are called amphibious animals for example salamander tortoises frogs crocodile etc aerial animals the animals which can fly in the sky are called aerial animals for example all types of birds so today we have classified animals on the basis of cell on the basis of mode of reproduction on the basis of vertebral column and on the basis of habitat on the basis of cell animals are classified into two classes unicellular multicellular on the basis of vertebral column animals are classified into two classes vertebrates invertebrates on the basis of mode of reproduction animals are classified into two classes oviparous animals viviparous animals on the basis of habitat animals are classified into four classes terrestrial animals aquatic animals amphibious animals and aerial animals